gonna show you guys the company that owns the fucking world. By the time you get done this video, you're just not only gonna be perplexed, you're gonna feel cheated, violated, insulted, because the entire system is rigged. It's rigged against you from the moment you're born. I said it and I'll continue to say it until you wake fucking up. Most powerful man in the world. Some may say it is the President of the United States. Others nope. may side with corporate America and deem the likes of Jeff Bezos nope. and Elon Musk to Peasants. be more powerful. But there is someone else. It is likely you have never heard of BlackRock. In less than 30 years, this company has grown from nothing to becoming the world's largest asset manager. The assets in the roster exceed- Can somebody guess how many assets under management BlackRock has? Can somebody guess in, in the chat, okay? How many assets under management BlackRock has? I want you guys to guess. Okay? So they talk about Elon, he's worth $200 billion. Okay? You got Jeff Bezos worth $100 billion, maybe a little bit less now. How much do you think these guys own of assets under management? Seed the value of $9 trillion. Nine fucking trillion dollars, bro. Some of you guys don't even know what nine fucking trillion dollars is. You can't even fathom it. These guys manage nine trillion dollars of wealth around the world. That means they dictate where they put the money and what is done with the money and they have the influence because they control the money fucking supply, bro. And their net worth is equal to half of America's GDP. They run the fucking country. These motherfuckers run the country, bro. From head to toe and you're out here talking about Joe Schmo, bro. Clearly, they do not need a name in the mainstream media to be successful. Or, in fact, own and control the entire world. But who are they? What do they do? And how does this one company in America influence every industry and sector in the world? Let's begin with who they are. BlackRock was founded in 1988 by Larry Fink, along with Robert Capito, Susan Wagner, Barbara Novick, Ben Golub, Hugh Frater, Ralph Schlostein, and Keith Anderson. Its aim was to provide corporations with asset management services to help them manage their risks and investments. The idea came when Fink, during his time in First Boston, lost $100 million as its head. That experience became the motivation for him to develop what he and the others considered to be excellent risk management and fiduciary practices. BlackRock first got its funding from Pete Peterson of the Blackstone Group, who believed in Fink's vision of a firm devoted to risk management. Fink's company then essentially became an arm of Blackstone, and it was called Blackstone Financial Management. In exchange for a 50% stake in the bond business, Blackstone gave Fink and his team a $5 million credit line. Within months, the business turned profitable. And by 1989, the group's assets had quadrupled to $2.7 billion. Bro, do you understand how these guys do whatever the fuck they want, bro? And you think... And you think you're sitting on your million, two million, 100,000, 200,000, you're out here popping bottles like you run shit, bro. You don't run shit. Blackstone's stake in Fink's company then fell to just 40% as opposed to the 60% held by Fink and his group. The firm adopted the name BlackRock in 1992. And by the end of that year, BlackRock was managing $17 billion in assets. By the end of 1994, they were handling $53 billion. Sometime now the question is, and I'm gonna dissect this to you so you understand how deep and dark this shit goes. Whose assets, right? That's not, the, quite, the problem here isn't BlackRock, is whose assets does BlackRock control? That's the, that's the crazy And shit. later that same year, Fink became the chairman and CEO of BlackRock Inc. The company went public in 1999 at just $14 a share on the New York Stock Exchange. And by the end of that year, they were handling $165 billion in assets. BlackRock grew both organically and by acquisitions. And in 2004... Do you know what acquisitions means? That they bought everything. They bought it all. Every last bit of it. They bought all of it. You know how I know that they bought all of it? Chat, give me the name of a fucking company. Any company. Over the last years that had, that's had an influence over our country. I mean, they fucking bought everything. Give me the name of a company. Any company that's publicly listed. Somebody said TikTok. TikTok's not an American company. All right, let's start with Tesla. Boom. So what we do, okay, very simple, is we go right here, okay, and we go to holders. I'm gonna teach you guys how to run this shit. Top holders. 
companies that between these two companies, Vanguard and BlackRock, they own 11% of Tesla. 11% of Tesla. These two companies own 11% of Tesla. Give me another company. Somebody said Google, Alphabet. Holders, BlackRock, Vanguard. They own 12% of Amazon. More than all the top ones combined. More than the rest all combined. Give me another company. Did somebody say Facebook? We got Meta. Yeah, Zuckerberg's a bad dude. Zuckerberg's a bad dude. He, did, he makes the decisions. These motherfuckers own 14% of Facebook. They bought it all. All of it. Do you hear me? Do you understand now what I'm trying to fucking convey? Are you still fucking asleep? Are you still fucking dumb? It's ridiculous. We got Disney. Guys, the system is fucking rigged. Oh, well, let's slow down for a second. Let's slow down for a second. Y'all ready for some crazy shit? Let's see who owns Pfizer. These motherfuckers own 16% of Pfizer. They own the world.